Brews are tightening in the ninth inning in San Francisco. Two men aboard. Go ahead, run at second base. And Cody Bellinger stepping in for L.A. 14 for 86 with runners in scoring position this summer. All of that erased with a base hit here. Here's a 1-2 and a shot into right center. A base hit for Bellinger. Justin Turner will score. Lux to third. Cody Bellinger delivers in the clutch. An RBI single. And the Dodgers have a 2-1 to one lead in the ninth inning. What a postseason for Bellinger after a lost season. Fouled off some tough ones and finally gets one over the heart of the plate. And a bullet that finds a hole. They were playing him to pull. Just hit it too hard. And the hit by pitch of Turner cost the ball in the Giants. Lux with a two-strike single. Bellinger just endured a season he would like to forget. Is having a postseason to remember now. He has just delivered the Dodgers in front. Gabe Kapler will take the ball from his 24-year-old closer. Two to one game of pitching change at Oracle Park. So Cora with the butt and started it off again. And now here is Ken Griffey. Get on the ground, face hit. Bernie Williams up with it, but Cora scampers to third base. And the Mariners still refuse to lose. Took the high fastball and got on top of it. No chance for Kelly on this turf. That Williams had to scamper over to cut it off. Tying run on third base and nobody out. Fred for Martinez. No balls and a strike to Martinez. Line drive. We are tied. Griffin is coming around. In the corner's Bernie. He's going to try to score. Here's the division championship. Mariners win it. Mariners win it. Series and the New York Yankees have lost it in heartbreaking fashion. Here is the winning moment as he crashed this drive into left field. And as soon as Griffey reached second, you knew he was intent on scoring. Taking one quick look, and then it didn't matter. Here come the Indians. An incredible series comes to a breathtaking end. And tonight's Chevrolet player of this classic is Edgar Martinez. And Scott Service is calling on Robbie Ray, the reigning American League Cy Young Award winner. Struggled in his start against the Blue Jays. He is on to face Jordan Alvarez. Myers at second base, the pinch runner. Pena, the runner at first, the tying run. Alvarez launches deep right field. And this one is gone. And the Astros walk him off in game one. Jordan Alvarez. Are you kidding me? Incredible finish to game one of this American League Division Series. Jordan Alvarez, a three-run walk-off home run and a no-doubter. Yeah, he went with the fastball again after he fouled the first one. This one, middle, middle. And he knew it right when he hit it. That's a big man. We talked about it. only two guys with over 1,000 OPS, and that was him. There was one guy, I said, coming to the inning, you don't want to bring him up. A 438-foot homer into the second deck and it sends the Astros into the win column in game one and for Scott Service he can't believe it he can't believe it took his one shot with the same side matchup and Jordan Alvarez shows you why he is one of the great hitters in this game what an inning we are tied at three runners on the corners two outs the seventh inning to this point has taken 40 minutes one one from Tyson Batista with a try, deep left field, no doubt about it. You can only flirt with fire for so long. And it's going to burn you. Yeah. 
There's the drive by Bautista. Three run shot. Second home run of the last two innings by the Blue Jays. Well, what, what, what in a crazy, crazy half. Bautista's starting to heat up. He's missed some balls on the inside. He got the base hit earlier. Watch Russell Martin right here. Yes. Russell Martin, who committed the error, the throw, which hit off the bat of Chu. Bases are loaded. A two run lead for the Nats. And Descalso, who has doubled in Homer over in his last at bat, coming down to the wire in this game. And there's a ball hit off the glove of Desmond. Two runs are going to score. The Cardinals are tying up. Descalso with a sharp ground ball off the glove of Ian Desmond, and we have a new ball game. And the Cardinals coming back and tying the game at 7 7. A base hit for Descalso after homering last inning. A bullet back up the middle of the field. Desmond able to get a glove on. It looked like he was a little off balance as he made that dive to his left. Beltron will score easily. The pinch runner Chambers right behind him to tie it up. Wow. And you've said it, and you can look at the face of the fans here anticipating the clincher here and moving on, but the Cardinals never say die. They're never out of it until you actually get them retired and out of it. Rodriguez off of Worrell in the 10th inning hit a fly ball to fairly deep center field. At third, Gonzalez. Pierre at second, Castillo at first. Pudge Rodriguez at the plate. Toriava setting up away again. Here's the pitch. Swinging a line drive into right field, a base hit. Cruz has it. Pierre is coming in. Here's the throw. This one is over, and the Marlins win it. The Marlins on a two out base hit to right field off the bat of Pud Rodriguez, and the Marlins come back with two in the bottom of the 11th inning. And this crowd is going crazy, as you would expect. The Giants had taken the lead by a run, and they coughed it up in the bottom of the 11th inning. 4-3 is the final. And just about the time you think you've done everything right, you walk away with a loss. This will be a tough one to swallow for the Giants, and they'll have a short night before they will go after these Marlins again tomorrow at 1 o'clock here in South Florida. So that's how it ends. A clutch base hit from Pudge Rodriguez in the bottom of the 11th. Morrell will get the loss. The win will go to Looper. And this one is a rough one for the Giants. Mark Schmidt against Oscar Gonzalez, rookie from the Dominican Republic. Hit up the middle, a base hit. The tying run is scored. Here comes Rosario with the winning run. And it's pandemonium at Progressive Field. The Guardians win. He's done it. That three game winning RBIs. They strung together five singles in the bottom of the ninth. That's what they did all game. Yeah, the Guardians had 15 hits, 13 of them singles, and a couple of doubles. The Yankees had five hits, three of them homers, but this time, small ball beat power ball. Winning run at second, two out, and the 2 2 pitch to Womack. Little floater, left field. Here comes Batista. Here's the throw. Diamondbacks going to the NLCS. Tony Womack's father died on April 22nd. On Father's Day of this year, he hit his second career Grand Slam, dedicated to his father. What must Dad be thinking now? Dave Veers is tagged for the loss. 
and the Arizona Diamondbacks are going to the National League Championship Series. They will host the Braves here on Tuesday. He missed on the squeeze and Womack wins it with a two out two strike hit. Here is Cosma. The go ahead run is at third base in David Freeze. 7 7 the score. It was 6 0 Washington. Here's the 2 2 pitch and a line drive to right field. It's going to be a base hit. Two runs will score. And the Cardinals take a 9 to 7 lead. Pete Cosma delivers a two run single to right field and a 9 to 7 game. Four runs crossing the plate for the Cardinals here in the ninth. We alluded to it in the open of the show that perhaps Pete Cosma would be this year's unlikely hero, a la Bucky Dent. I have a feeling there's some national fans that will refer to Pete Cosma uh, with the same adjectives they use for Bucky Dent. 